Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a declutter video for you. I don't do these very often because I don't usually have a lot to declutter, but I know that you really liked the ones that I did a little over a year ago when I was moving and I decluttered all my makeup. And one that I haven't done is decluttering my skincare, and I've been meaning to do it honestly for months and just have been putting it off and not got to it, but it really needs to be done, one, to see what I have and make sure that I'm using what I have, but also because I really need to check the expiration dates on some of these things because I have a feeling some of them could be a few years old and could be expired. So. I've hesitated using them because I didn't know if they were expired, so in order to get optimal use out of the things I have and know what I can use or shouldn't use, I'm going to go through and declutter all of my skincare. I'm not going to be going through any of the skincare that I'm currently using every day, stuff that's on my counter, because I know that I'm using that every day, and I know it's not expired because most of it's fairly new. So just this container that was under my sink that I don't always touch to see where we're at with things. So I'm going to start off with some of the stuff I know is newer, like this CeraVe hydrating, nope, this CeraVe moisturizing cream. I got this one basically because it was travel, so if I'm away for a night or a weekend, I have a travel size moisturizer and don't have to take the large bottle so since I just got this I am going to be keeping that a lot of stuff in here too is just backups like I've got a backup of the inky list caffeine eye cream because it works pretty well and I don't want to be without it and it's not a very big container plus I can never tell when the container is going to run out so I have a backup of it then this was just a sample that was sent to me when I ordered my Josie Marin Argon Daily Moisturizer, and it's the Josie Marin Argon Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum, which says it boosts hydration and luminosity to renew the look of dull dry skin. Well, I don't have dry skin right now because it is summer. Vitamin C absorbs instantly and remains active without irritation. Fades the look of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Oh, well, that's, but I mean, it's a vitamin C serum, so... And it's a little sample, so I will try it out at some point. This is also a new product that Sephora sent with my last order. Either it was a freebie or I used a point perk on it. I can't remember, honestly, but it's the Ren Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. So I will be trying it out at some point and will be keeping it. And then this Sephora sent me by mistake because I did not ask for it, but it showed up in my order. It's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I don't really use toner much anymore, and I don't really like the idea of putting rose on my face because it is very strong and fragrant, and I haven't heard the best things about fragrance, but also using rose on your face or rose in general. But let's see what it says. Softens the skin and refines the appearance of pores. It does have re real rose petals in it. So since they sent it to me, I might try it out at some point, but I don't know. It kind of scares me. I don't love the idea. I'm afraid I'm going to have a reaction to it or it's going to do something funky to my skin, but we'll see. I'm going to hold on to it for now. Oh, and this is something I got in one of my Ipsy, I think my last Ipsy or at least a recent Ipsy. And it's the Gold Fadden MD Radical Difference Antioxidant Serum. I still haven't tried it yet because I've been using other products, plus it's been hidden away so I haven't seen it and when I don't see things I kind of forget to use them. But it is a pricier product and I still do want to try it out and see how I like it. Then I have these Tula eye patches basically. There's only one left in here. They don't really do, but I don't notice them do much, but I only have one left so I'm going to use it up. And then I have these Gentle Steam eye masks, which are lavender scented, I believe. They're kind of a warming mask. So I'd be more likely to use these in the winter time than in summer. I'm gonna hang on to those for now. Next is this Glam Glow Tropical Cleanse Exfoliator. And I don't use it often, but every now and then when I'm looking for a bit of exfoliation, I'll pull it out and use it. 
it is fragranced, but the fact that I don't use it all the time helps. However, I just tried to look up a batch code for it to check the expiration, and I it didn't come up in anything. I couldn't find it. So I'm going to keep using it as long as it doesn't smell like it's gone off or anything. As, like I said, I only use it very infrequently. But it is a good size container and still does have a quite, a bit, quite a bit of product in it, so I want to try to use as much of it as I can. Next up is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I especially like this mask in the winter. However, I have noticed that since I haven't been using products with as much fragrance that it is very fragranced. It's still good for moisturization, however, when I looked it up, it is one year and nine months old, and I think face masks go for about two years. So I still have a few months left before I should probably get rid of it, and as you can see, there's really not much left in the bottle. So I'm hoping I can use it up before time runs out. This is another newer product that I got from my Ipsy that I have not yet used. So another one that I need to not forget about, it's the Pixie Clarity Lotion. I think it's just a basic moisturizer. Yeah. Minimizing the appearance of pores and keeping complexion shine free. Oil free formula. Boost hydration. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make sure I use that. See, this is the problem. I forget what I have and things don't get used because I'm not looking at them. So, I'm going to leave that where I can see it and hopefully use it soon. It is a decent sized package and I want to see if I like it. Yet again, this is why I'm doing this, because this is a product that I got from Paula's Choice that I have not yet used, Barrier Repair Moisturizer with Retinol. There is a reason I haven't used it yet, though, because I'm using up another Paula's Choice Retinol, and I kind of wanted to get through that one before I open this one. But as soon as I am done with that one, I will be trying this one. More samples I got with Josie Marin orders, just the pure argon oil, which... I don't love using just plain oils on my face, and right now this is not really the time of year that I'd be using it, but I'll hold on to it to try at some point. I could even use it on my cuticles or something if need be. I did want to try this Beta Retinol Pink Algae Serum. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, what else do we got in here? Josie Marin Pure Argon Milk Intense Hydrating Treatment. See, it's because it's not winter and I'm not looking for that super intense hydration, but maybe I'll replace my Neutrogena one night with these to try them out. This is the Biosance Squalane Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. I pulled this out to use again when traveling for overnights. So it's already opened. It works fine as a moisturizer so I'm going to continue to use it and try to use it up which shouldn't be too hard because it's not a very big bottle. This is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Serum? No, Tingling Treatment. I have a feeling I got this with another order at some point as a sample, but for some reason you can't look up Tarte's expiration dates, which I find odd. And I haven't used this so far. I think it's like a toner or liquid exfoliator, but if I haven't used it so far, I'm not really sure about the product. I'm going to get rid of it. Next is this face mask from number 7. It's their Nourishing Hydration Mask. Again, it's got fragrance, but I do like the way it works, and it looks like it's almost empty. Granted, I could not find any info on the expiration, but I know it's not two years old, or I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to try to finish that one up. Next is this Ren AHA Tonic which is, I think, like an exfoliating toner. And again, I can't find any info on Ren's expiration. Maybe I'm not looking in the right places, but the sites I'm finding don't have a lot of these brands. Maybe they just don't give out the information. But I don't love this product and don't really have a use for it, so that is one that I'm going to declutter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and it's a newer one to me. I got again when I ordered something and I haven't tried it out yet but I do want to so I'm going to hang on to it and see what I think of it. It is I think just a moisturizer but again out of sight out of mind so I'm going to have to either rotate things or keep it out where I can see it but 
Let me know, how do you rotate your skincare if you have different skincare products to try out? Do you kind of change it up weekly? Because also I don't want to make my skin freak out, so I got to do these things kind of slowly. But, yep, going to hang on to that one. And this was another sample I was given. It's the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil Face Butter. So again, a moisturizer. How am I ever going to get through all these moisturizers? I don't have enough face to use all these moisturizers. But I do want to try them where I have them. Maybe you never know. I'll fall in love with one of them. Especially where you know I love my Josie Marin daytime moisturizer. Well, this is not going very well so far in terms of decluttering. I'm not decluttering very much, but it's still good to be seeing what I have. This is again a newer sample that I got. It's the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Sounds good, so I do want to try it out at some point. Does it have directions? No, of course not, because it's a tiny sample, so it doesn't have directions. But I do want to try it out at some point and see if it is, in fact, line reducing. Then I have this Drunk Elephant Makeup melting butter cleanser it's basically like their equivalent of the Clinique take the day off but I wanted to get through and finish my Clinique take the day off before opening and using this one so now that I finished my Clinique when I need to remove makeup that I do on YouTube days that's a little bit heavier makeup I will be trying this out and if I like it as much as the Clinique I'll definitely let you know. Okay, now these last products in here are the ones I definitely need to check the expirations on. So, that's going to be the deciding factor. This is a moisturizer from The Ordinary. I got to try out. But, unfortunately, it says the manufacture date was March 2018. Which would make it older than two years. So, I don't know if I really want to use that. But... I'm going to have to be better about checking these things more often or just having less at a time and being forced to use what I have. I don't know. i got to find a better system, either using things up before I buy anything new, trying like one new thing a week, or just checking dates. But this is going to have to go, unfortunately, and I never did try it to see if I like it. All right, next I have some Drunk Elephant skincare products. You can't look up the batch codes, but I did find out that on the packaging they give you a guide by having a little can here this little can here that tells you how long the shelf life is after opening and they all say 12 months for the products I have and I know for sure that I've had all of these for longer than 12 months but I also haven't used them in quite a long time so I am gonna declutter them all but I will tell you what they are I have two little sample sizes here of the marula face oil which is a good face oil it is expensive but that's why I got the sample sizes because I would use them in conjunction with the Sakari baby facial which I did like as a, it's a 20 minute treatment that you would leave on and just so you can get a better idea it says exfoliates the pore lining and gets rid of dead skin dead skin cells with a whopping 25% AHA 2% BHA blend of our dream glycolic tartaric lactic citric and salicylic acids this pro quality formula dramatically smooths texture and, and it did make my skin feel nice but I, it was it did burn a little when i used it and so once i removed it i would follow up with these which i think was suggested but i don't love the fact that it burns plus their products are very expensive plus i haven't really heard a lot of great things about them as a company especially since they've been bought out and their customer service and all that so I don't think I'll be buying any more drunk elephant skincare products in the future but I definitely don't want to use these what now that they're expired and the other one I had was the glycolic night serum it was similar to the Sakari baby facial but it wasn't quite as intense and it was one that you could leave on so I had gotten it to see how they they both compared and I think I decided I preferred this one because you could leave it on and it wasn't as intense but again I'm not going to be purchasing from them from them again I think I found other skincare brands that I prefer that are also much more affordable the final thing is this product from the ordinary it's their AHA BHA peeling solution which I think I got to because it's supposed to compare to the baby facial 
and to see how it compared because the ordinary is much more affordable and I looked it up and it, I bought it in 2019 sorry if you hear Duncan he thinks it's dinner time and it's not he always thinks it is too early but when I did look it says the shelf life is 12 months after opening and I have never opened it it is still sealed never been opened so I think it would be okay to use hopefully because it's a full bottle and I haven't tried it yet so there you go well this was not a very cutthroat declutter because I'm only getting rid of seven products hopefully that means I'm not super wasteful but these are the seven that I'm getting rid of this is everything that I'm keeping and I know that it looks like a lot but some of them are samples a lot of them are sample size products some of them are masks that I only use every now and then and then I think the majority of the rest are products that I want to try out and while this isn't my everyday skincare I am someone that while I do like makeup and I do wear makeup and I've done the occasional makeup video as I've started to get older I'm much more into skincare and not necessarily trying out new skincare but trying to find good quality affordable skincare that is good for my skin so as I said I'm gonna have to come up with a better system so that I don't forget what I have but also that I'm using and going through more of what I have let me know if maybe you'd like to see more trying new skincare videos and have me test things out for you on camera because that would be a good way to force me to use them if I'm doing videos for you with them so let me know if that's something you'd like to see and if any of the products in here are particular products that you would like to see me test out it can be difficult with these sample sizes because they're only really one use and it's hard to really get a good gauge of a product in that size of a sample but if there's anything else that's got a few more uses in them that you see here that you'd like me to test out for you definitely let me know but I hope that you enjoyed this skincare declutter let me know if you would like to see any other declutter videos from me or more skincare videos from me I'm always happy to hear your requests and hopefully try to make those happen for you so let me know in the comments but I hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll talk to you soon